All right, y'all, cold temperatures. Ice and snow are typically a turn off for most folks, but not for my next guest. Says hundreds of kids he's mentoring through winter sports. As the creator of the National Winter Activity Center, Sean uses sports like skiing to keep kids off the couch during cold seasons, aid in their health and wellness, and add diversity to the winter sports world. He joins me now to share more about this amazing program. Uh, Sean, how you doing? I'm doing great. How about stuff? All right, man. Uh, it's dog. It's, it's too cold for all that. I mean, cause I, okay. So you got it's too much stuff you got to put on. Yeah, but we dressed up anyway for everything. And you know that the largest winter sports organization in the country is African American, the National Brotherhood of Skiers. Really? That's true. And there are a bunch of us that enjoy going outside with. Okay, kids. Mahalo, though. But a bunch of y'all uh, are they going skiing? Or they going to the lodge chilling for the after party after y'all finish skiing? I'll take the fifth on that. I'll mount yeah, that skiing. Right, right, right. Oh, okay. See, so when you say the lodges, it like all of them on the slopes. <laughs> but it's good. But we, you know, we're a, a nonprofit. You know, uh, the first facility dedicated just to helping kids learn, you know, and compete, and also to take winter activity and make them a help, have a healthy experience. At the end of the day, um, in the winter time. With sedentary. An additional 38 hours of activity does wonders for things that will affect us later on in life, like type 2 diabetes, childhood obesity. So we hope to set them on the right stage, enjoy the sport, and get healthier. So we talk about winter sports. So beyond skiing, what else? Um, you have cross country skiing, you have snowboarding, um, you have a number of those things. We focus on the mountain sports, but there's a lot of other things that we deal with with our partners to do other sports as well. Okay, and so uh, we're talking about um, uh, so a lot of so a lot of us. Okay, we, you know, I grew up in Houston, and we had an ice skating rink there as well, uh, and uh, other places a a as well. Uh, but but how do you um, get the kids moving in that direction? Because if you're not living in a place where you have access to it, right? I think access is the most important thing. So we partner with youth serving agencies, YMCA's, Boys and Girls Clubs, churches, charter schools. Um, across the nation. For instance, in addition to having kids from the New York, New Jersey area, we actually have a school coming up from Georgia for a three-day session to also introduce those kids to sports, but not just introduce them, but give them path to master it. And what areas uh, jump out the most in terms of that, that, that are more active? And so you talk about um, uh, where are people going to participate in these sports? Generally speaking, we associate winter sports with mountains. But there are areas within major metropolitan areas, like you know the, the urban areas, that are within probably an hour or two amount. So our intention is to link those areas with those kids in a programmatic fashion. Mm -hmm. And uh, and well, you know, again, folks don't think about it, but uh, even when you talk about California, uh, you you might be in um, L L.A. or you might be in some other particular area. And all of a sudden, you look up and you go, "Wait a minute." Is that snow up there? That's exactly right. There are places like Mountain High, Snow Summit, and that are hour and a half outside of LA. There are places in San Francisco that may be a couple hours up in the Tahoe area and Reno area. But those are all areas where we literally can take those kids in a programmatic fashion and give them not only introduction, but a path. Because it's not fair to introduce kids to sport and not let them continue. Our idea is to remove all the barriers to access. Surely some of them are economic. A lot of them are just looking up and seeing that, that it's there. The third thing is knowing that they can do it. And uh, what are you, in terms of um, getting kids there, I mean, take it, you also need additional resources to be able to bring them to those places and also the equipment. Because uh, winter sports, equipment ain't cheap. Well, that's the nice thing about what we do. We provide kids the, the instruction, the mentoring, the meals, healthy meals, and equipment all in one particular package across a number of five to seven sessions. We partner with those youth serving agencies and other supporting foundations to help get those organizations the transportation to get there. Our role is to make sure for the long term in a sustainable fashion to make sure that we lower this cost of access. Okay, all right then. Well, man, we certainly appreciate it. Thanks a bunch. Uh, Y'all stay warm. Yes, and you should get out there. You know, the National Brothers Skiers being Keystone, they'd love to have you nah, out bro, there I, I, around the lodge nah, as well. I, I, I'm a land-based brother. 
I don't believe in sliding off the side of mountains. I don't believe in going under the water as well. I, <laughs> I will stick to golf courses where I can wear some shorts and it's 80 <laughs> degrees. So, no, I, oh, that's all right. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, folks, uh, when, we, when we, we come back, we'll talk about uh, Clemson win the national championship against Alabama. And also, I have some final thoughts when it comes to paying athletes while these coaches are getting paid, plus our birthdays in history. All of that next, News 1-9 TV 1.